Okay, so we got a Venture Force Pro Dart. Let's see if you can see it in there. Yeah. And uh, I'm using an Ultra Match port. So Ultra Match port has a let off about right here, and it is about the length, uh, one and eighth less the length of the dart in the foam. And so this is the Merlin I was using before. Now the thing about Merlins is if you, let's say this was here, and you back this off maybe to about here, maybe about an inch, that it would put the, the sweet spot right in the middle of the Merlin. Now you have to adjust the Merlin a little bit farther back, but it usually doesn't rob it of power. As a matter of fact, if you centered it right in the middle of that 30, that 60 millimeters, about 30 back, it would probably be faster. And the reason is, is because when it goes through here, it doesn't have the perfect air seal, but it also has a fraction of the drag because that center spiral is actually the interior diameter of the barrel. Rather than put adding more pressure on it, actually takes away pressure. And then, of course, lines it back up here as so. Now, Al Torino, what he has is he's got a taper. So these rings, what happens is they're the same size. But then the, the, but then the rail size thins as a taper. And thus, lets pressure on the drive as it goes out. Actually might even be a more superior system for accuracy and the reason being that it actually lets off the dart slowly and then lets it out and lets it lets the air pass the dart kind of like an ultra mesh port so what I encourage him to do is actually link his barrel or the next barrel he tries and try it out but right now we're gonna try the ultra mesh port and see if the speed is any different because I have a feeling this is the same spring I've been using since Singapore and it may actually be dead I may actually have a dead spring in here or not dead but definitely not uh, optimal yeah check it out that's a 247 yeah you see what I'm talking about and you can hear it it hit the it hit the leather coat and it was really powerful but it was actually less velocity than with the Merlin now I'm gonna throw the Merlin on there and we're gonna shoot again and see what speed I get Okay, so here we are again, Bird of Prey, this time loaded with the Merlin. Now, this just has a brass standoff, just a piece of brass that sticks out here, and then this is female on the inside of here. Okay, so we have the same velocity from the last one, 247. Okay, now with the Merlin, let's see, because I have a theory that maybe the spring in here is just tired, and as you can see when it's back, it is full compression, and it has not been opened in, a, in a, I would say, a couple of years I haven't opened this up. I've just ran it as so. It is a really nice blaster. Let's see. And if this is so, this tells me it's just a spring and that the barrel assembly is actually optimal. That's exactly what's going on. Look at that. Look. Look at that. So, it, just so you guys understand, the Merlin is not slowing this down. It is actually speeding it up because what happens is you get the end of this setup and you have this, this area of less friction, a little bit of air going by it, but you're cutting the friction by a third, and yet you have, you have the remaining air pressure from this plunger behind it. So what this is showing me is this is an optimal setup, and this has been going between 280 and 274. That's 60 per second, and it's, be, it's making it very hard for me to justify, um, should I, you know, should I slow it down? Now, of course, before firing it, with the ultra mesh port, and it was like a half port, so it was a, it was a length of an old port, but it was about half that. It was about three quarters of an inch port. It was it was doing uh, 298, 302, 299, 310. So it was shooting faster with that optimal port. Oh well, but the dart also does this when it flies out. It dart it 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 it, it dog tails sometimes. Sometimes it goes straight, sometimes it tails. This, it flies out perfectly, and I don't know. Um, I think it might be th it might be this. This has not been touched since 2018. I may have a tired seal. I may have a tired spring. Putting a brand new turf spring, which I do have some 18.5s that I can throw out. Brand new one may bring this up to 300, but as I can see, this is optimal. This is actually getting optimal speed. And you saw that same number, next shot. No, 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 no shit about it. So until next time, this is Chris Cartea. It's a tough decision to make, but I think my decision I'm making is that I'm not going to change this at all. 
I'm going to leave it as B, but I may take this apart at some point before we go to Wars. But right now, it's a tack driver. I love it. It definitely beats most of your takedowns and other pistols. And there really isn't another pistol like that. So I said, well, why not uh, move on to something else? Because on the side of snipers, most of your snipers are very blocky, big blasters. They're long shots here. They're M20s. They're uh, the Calibers, you know. They still have a lot of air and a lot of power delivery and a lot of potential energy. This does not need that. This is on your other end of the spectrum, where you can hold this with your hand, take out in the field and fire. You can use a lighter scope, and like I was showing earlier, <laughs> this thing is so cool. This this scope right here. Yes, you have to line up perfectly, but look at that. Anybody want a UPC code? <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty fucking amazing. To do 278 with a pistol, period. Let alone the potential to do 300 is good, but I'm thinking the spring is tired. Take care.